Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Bio Omega, in the Empire of Japan. So in the last episode we ended when we finished two technologies and today we're going to start with exactly their effects. So first one of those was, if I'm not mistaken and I am not, the light or improved, what's it called? Uh, Improved light naval anti air, which allows us to get a buki, which is a cruiser, a buki class, and um, let's check it out because we don't really have that many uh, heavy cruisers. Actually, we produced just a couple, um, or maybe we didn't produce even any because we were focusing maybe mainly on the light cruisers and yeah, there are any nope just the tonas and those are uh, the default ones so the ibuki is actually pretty good for us so let me see can we upgrade stuff here we can upgrade a lot of stuff so this would be the default state 34 knots light attack 15.5 Heavy attack 23.4, heavy torpedoes, quite a lot of anti-air, good sub-detection, but no depth charges. I mean, it's a heavy cruiser, so that goes without saying. Speed is okay, range is okay. And what about the guns? So you have 20 centimeter, 50 YT2. Okay, these ones would all be light attack. Interesting. So these are the. That's kind of interesting. Ten main gun. Uh huh. So only some of them with this symbol have. Okay, so these are all light. That's interesting. There are some. Here, the 12 guns. So this one would increase everything. So we could switch to 20 centimeter. That's pretty much the same one, but there's just 12 of them instead of 10. And then we can give you a better dual purpose guns. It's gonna make it significantly more expensive than it was, but it is going to be also significantly better. The speed is still okay. What about the torpedo? These are center line ones. Torpedo launcher improved. Okay, so we can also go up with the torpedoes. Okay, reliability goes down significantly. But it's still higher than it was before. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with this, Ibuki, uh, light attack 26.6, heavy attack 28, torpedo attack 102, anti-air, pretty good. You can't get, yeah, you can't even get the charges. No, you can, okay. Surprised that's a possibility, but still, we don't want it. Cool. So Ibuki, and I don't think we have... No, we do. We're actually working on two Hiroshima class cruisers. So I can put two more Ibukis up for production after they are done. Now, it's a pretty far question of whether or not they will even finish before the end of the slot play, but that doesn't mean we don't want to build them. Cool. So that's Ibuki. Do we have anything here that we want to get? We're working on the coding. Yep, we want the snorkel. So let's get that one done. And you can get us improved the charge motor. Now let's get these ones. Improved landing craft. Lowers preparation time for an invasion. Lowers the penalty. Troop convoy requirements are lowered and invasion capacity is increased by four. Cool. We're still missing the tank capacity and a little bit, a tiny bit of steel. 
So I'm just gonna put that back up for imports and we can go. So what's going on here? Our subs are just sinking their cargoes. Oh, there are some American ships over here. Okay, let me remove that and add these two as well. Are they right? No, they're not. Okay. Hmm. But they were right there, <laughs> obviously. Uh, Rubbing our ships like there's no tomorrow, which is really good. Nobody else is doing much. You are sniping some enemies. Okay, so that's going good. Nobody is still working on that. Guadal Canal being occupied, it's pretty good. And how's this going? Uh, did we lose this one? I don't think so. I think I should gain this one. Okay, this fight has been lost. Uh, we're actually attacking over here and it's going well. Interesting. Can you support this? Let the tanks roll over them and tear them to pieces. Disrupting their lines. Your reinforcements are coming. You're really doing a decent amount here, but they have an attack and the breakthrough, and we cannot pierce them. They have Americans have probably way better tanks than we do. And there's literally no chance for us to fix that. Oh, and I forgot, we have a new airplane, a Nakajima. Carrier bomber. I feel this one might be the last one, right? On the nope, that's a doctrine. So we were probably researched here. Nukujima. Yep. This one. I should be seven A. That's the one, right? Uh huh. Where are you? Navy, yep, this is the one. Carrier bomb, yep, that's the last one. So I think we can improve you a bit. Okay, canopy? Nope. Our frame further improves reliability, which is good. But we don't have enough experience. Okay, so let's do it this way then. And we'll just have you switched for the B7829. Okay, this one. Okay, they pretty much killed the production, but we're gonna keep working on that. You guys also need to go there, come on. If it wasn't for the... Okay, Mountainers... Oh wow, they're doing really good. Yep, terrain is just for them. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that our units are almost already there I wouldn't even bother so get in here you get in here okay and you also need to get in here so go you go and what about the drilling units still drilling 
Oh, well, did we take a uh, additional part of We haven't yet. But our units are just advancing everywhere. Oh wait, no, 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 that would be a bit of a mistake. You guys taking the territory. So do you. Nope. It's looking pretty good. It's really just this area that's making me worried. Okay. And considering. We're saying a ton of division there. I think I can send the Mountaineers over here to support this. Yeah, uh, they are getting absolutely obliterated. Okay, so what we're doing really good everywhere. We will have to take a little bit of a chill pill here to make sure that everything is fine. Sink some convoys. I'm really curious how much this is gonna give us. 40 days. We've been embargoed by Hungary. We're gonna be there one, two days. Okay, we can attack that infantry unit over there. That is really pretty cool. 94% towards capitulation. So, good 20 victory points give us what we need. That is a valid question. Oh, my dear lord. And they really are determined Okay, you need to... Well, I mean, um, you know, I no longer believe in this whole encirclement bone thing We tried it, it's hardly working, so we might just Try to kill as many of them and just do it the old fashioned way, just take the entire territory place by place. That's gonna be a bit more understandable. Come on, not this. Um, we've taken the entirety of Papua as an Aru Island here. You actually do a naval invasion? I've never tried sending you to one. Uh, but I believe that might actually work. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, you guys have taken Guadalcanal. And there are... It's one, two, three. So let me split you guys into three groups. I'm gonna make three distinct invasions. You guys are gonna go over here. You guys are gonna go over here. And you guys are gonna go over here. I really hope that's the same area. Yep, it is. Okay. <sighs> Sink eight American convoys over here. Yeah, I think we're. Despite the fact that they are sinking our subs left and right, we definitely are causing them a lot of strife. Come on, can you hold? 
We will need the navy to get there in time. No, <laughs> that's making me so mad. Okay, Shimano Shubitai. You guys can be sent to defend Guadalcanal. You're going to be part of the second island defense force. And I'm going to send you over here to defend. Okay, so what's going on over here? You guys are still defending. So we're still attacking. Pretty rough gig, if you ask me, and it's not gonna work. So let's send you in here instead. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They got really vast numerical superiority on us here, and they're not afraid of using it. Uh, I really wish. We had a little bit more ability here. Are we out of supply? We are. Okay, it's too far to reach. It is too far to reach, but our units are still advancing. What about here? Yeah, they took Arkhangelsk. And they're just Astrakhan away from the sea. Really nice. So even the Germans are advancing. We can be happy about that. Because it means... Then they mean it. Okay, Omsk is over here, so we can go there. We can go here, We're attacking the tank division over here. He has a bunch of victory points very close to us that I believe will make this doable. Eventually, that is. Damn, okay, well, taking these two areas. Okay, you can stay in here. Okay, or so move north. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe not, maybe we are not taking it. Everybody else is, but not us. Okay. Some enemy subs were sunk. We get another extra sub. Okay, two Asashio class destroyers gonna be assigned to our main fleet. And Yamato has a regular crew now. Let's go and join the main fleet as it prepares for the invasion of Hawaii. Okay, you guys finished the type one. Hoha, which is an upgraded half track. Okay, let's get the best machine gun. Type 1 machine gun teams within the battalion. And we can start producing the Type 1 Hoha HD, which is an upgraded version of the currently used mechanized. Division. Okay, this is looking good. We finished a bunch of... Wow, we finished a lot of stuff. And we still need at least one extra of each. And more like two. So let me just shadow them preemptively. Uh, so, that's Micronesia. We need to go here. So two engine power plants, 
two tank power plants and two artillery power plants. And then a bunch of not here not here. Here and here. A bunch of factories. And you can do it like this. Okay, that sounds about right. Okay, advancing. Indiscriminate advance. Mountains, of course, are doing nothing. You guys are doing nothing as well. Okay, but I wanted to see, no joke, if we can add another mechanized battalion to our tank divisions. Can, okay. So that's gonna save us a little bit of motorized. And we could, okay, so Nizhny Vartovsk, come on. One day and six hours. 95%. If one victory point is, or four victory points is 1%, I don't believe that, but that would capitulate them. And if not, there's always Omsk that we have just taken. How the hell did we do that? It's crazy. Okay, build that. Oh my god, look at how much factories we've just taken. <laughs> okay, well. Careful there, careful. Okay, I think we can do a tank production uh, factory upgrade, which is going to give us extra production capacity per tank factory. We got 17, okay, so it's going to give us extra so Omsk is 5 and Nizhny Vartovsk is 20 99% okay so we need just like a teeny tiny little bit could you take Astrakhan if you could or Kubyshev oh you're almost there Stavropol Kubyshev they will capitulate. If that, like, literally could be just that, that would be just entirely amazing. Okay, just keep attacking. We are finally getting the mountainers in here. So let's make sure they count. Okay, when can you launch? You can launch this right now. Okay, go. And what about you? Okay, then. Well. It works, which is more than I can say for a lot of other plans. This works, this works. I expected as much, you bastards. They always search for the least opportune area for us. I mean, I can't really blame them for that, but they just make my life so miserable. Would this work? It would. Would this work? It would. Would this work? It would. Did this work? work? It would. And of course there is another supply up here. That is just lovely. 
Okay, let's see you challenge these mountainers. Oh, you are just so much better. Breakthrough 80, the defense 219. A little bit curious about the effect of what we're doing here, but other than that, absolutely happy. Just need like one final push. I'm doing my part. Please do yours as well. Okay, let's put more on the type 3 Chinu. I'm producing a decent amount. Okay, trying to enter the territory over here. We get a huge amount of divisions attacking over here. This is an endless meat grinder. And blast meat grinder. Okay, there are two American divisions defending Nando. No, actually, one American and one French. But we're actually doing okay. This is French Republic, so that should work. Why isn't it working? I don't know. Okay, so we finished the improved optics and an armor. Smoke discharge. No, let's get the vet ammo racks that helps with reliability. Yep. Bet stowage consisted of a system where the main gun rounds were moved to racks on the hull floor. The rounds in each rack were surrounded by separate small containers of a mixture of water, ethylene glycol, and a rust inhibitor known as ammo dump. The rounds aren't actually wet, they are separated by the small liquid containers. When the ammunition rack was hit, the logic was that the liquid would spill out, quenching any fire similar to flooding the magazines on board ship. 144 liters of ammo dump were needed for 100 shells. Okay, and the improved optics, we could actually use those. Wow, okay. I can't believe how, much, how far we're pushing the tankettes. <laughs> We've been producing them for so long. Okay, so this is gonna be type 98 R O. Type 99 Kenny. Okay, it's gonna be Kenny. Type 99 RO because of the optics. Type 4 Horror. Okay, type 4 Horror. O because of the optics, defensive modules, you have everything right. Yep. Type 2 Ho E. Ho E O. Improved optics. And the last one, Type 3 Chinu. Uh, type 3 Chinu O. And robotics. Okay, now let's go and upgrade all of our tank productions to these new variants. So type 98R, it's going to be type 98RO, the Kenny, type 3 Chinu, type 2 Hobby All, and type 4. Okay, well, that is a big change to our production line, but on the other hand, it would be worse. Sure, so 100,000 food. I don't see a problem with that 
on a default. Naval innovations. So you guys are advancing. Can you guys disrupt this? You can. Come on, despite our best efforts, we are advancing. Though, in some places, they are making sure we pay. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Fortunate that Soviet Union and it's a little bit more of a push. And I don't see anything in the Marcos that we could take. Because the supply line going through Omsk is split. There's Tumen, Chelyabinsk, Svardivosk. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we can capitulate Soviet Union because it is frankly getting almost ridiculous. Yep, you guys are eliminating them before they eliminated these. Well, yeah, everything going well.